Hey guys, what's up? It's Tyler Smith and welcome to the second episode of Soapbox Underground. Today we're going to be talking about a topic that's very near and dear to me. Um, it's BSL, which is Breed Specific Legislation. That is actually legislation handed down in order to make it illegal to own and breed certain types of dogs. Um, I don't particularly agree with the way things are being carried out, but I have some ideas and I, I, want, to, I want to have everyone discuss if they love the current way or if they would like to go with a new idea. Um, I've got some examples from around the world and I have a couple of ideas like I said I would share with you and then I'm going to pose to you a question and then you guys go from there. England passed the Dangerous Dogs Act of 1991 which actually makes it legal for them to confiscate and terminate any breed of dog they determine to be violent. If they come to your house for any given reason, or the authorities find you wherever you're at and they see you with a dog that they determine to be violent, they can take your dog from you and kill it. Okay, that's where we're headed if this country passes breed-specific legislation. Um, dog fighting is still rampant in, in Central Europe and London. And England especially has a dog fighting problem. In the past five years, it's gone up 20% in reported dog fighting cases. Um, all it seemed to me to do was take away loving dogs from good homes. If you pass this sort of legislation in America, here's what's going to happen. Law-abiding citizens will give up their dogs, and the criminals are going to keep doing what criminals do. And the only thing you're going to do is take away good dogs from good homes. Um, my ideas are, I would like to see higher rewards for someone reporting and leading the successful capture of the dog fighters and the repossession and rehabilitation of those fighting dogs. Um, you know, find them some good homes. Um, I would like to see stiffer penalties placed um, on the people that are caught. Um, if you're caught at a dog fight, and even if you're there, I want them to be through the roof. I want people to be scared shitless to take their dog to a dog fight. So, higher rewards if you call one in and leads the capture. Stiffer penalties for the guys that get caught. Because who is the federal government to tell you which dogs you can and can't own? That's saying what kind of car you can and can't drive, because a sports car is more dangerous than a minivan. Was that next? I mean, is that theoretically the, the next jump they could make? Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, let's say they took away every dog on the planet. Man will always find a way to live vicariously and avoid his own impotence and his own cowardice. He'll fight chickens. He'd fight frogs if they would bite each other. He would fight roosters. He would fight monkeys. Anything that man can get his hands on. Or, or drive-by shootings. Um, killing innocent people for the sake of looking like a man. Blowing up abortion clinics. Killing an entire race of people because your God told you to do it. If it's not one thing, it will be another. Um, do you think it's right to pass breed-specific legislation 